guys and thanks for joining me for another shave and if you're new to the channel welcome thanks for joining me on this special shave why is it a special shave it's my first giveaway shave 200 subscribers and I think I announced it um, I think it was the was it the 8th of November I think it was um, and Within 17 days, it's gone to 250. So thank you so much, you guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Right, let's get on with the shave. Um, a barber shave. Right, today we are using Ariana and Evans Barbera Sophisticato. And there she is. Lovely lady there in the... Uh, in the barber seat and I'm going to show you the ingredients now if you want to pause it there you go guys and I hope this light holds out because I think the batteries are running low it's flickering last time so if you see a bit of a flicker I do apologize but I can't find the batteries now this soap it's a beautiful soap but it's quite soft it's quite a soft soap. Um, it's more of a croak. It's in between a, a soap and a cream. And there she is, guys. Now, the notes in this are pink pepper, bergamot, le lavender, violet leaf, tonka bean, vanilla, leather, sorry, leather, amber, sandalwood, cedarwood, musk, and oak moss. I can smell the oak moss and the leather straight away. So, from the notes you can tell it's a bit of a, it's a complex soap, but in my opinion, I think a lot of Ariana and Evans are quite complex soaps, but they're beautiful. Yeah, you can't smell, you smell the amber. And slightly the vanilla, as it stands. Let's see what it's like when it levels up. So that's the soap, the brush today, is going to be my Amiga high brush and it's my 22mm barber pole handle imitation badger it's like a um, two band badger so we're going to put that in the uh, in the skull razor today is going to be my Edwin Jagger DE89 and there she is guys, it's, it's a fantastic razor, it really is. It's great for beginners and it's great for the advanced experienced shavers as well. It's, it's, it's a great razor, it's an all round razor, it's, it, it's brilliant. And I haven't used it for a while so I thought I'd give it an outing. And I've got a bit of that soap as well I forgot to mention in my Captain's Choice Bowl. There she is. It looks a lot in there, but I've spread it really around. Spread it really around? I spread it around quite a bit. Tongue tied. Right, I'm going to load the razor. And I'm going to use the super thin again. I'm going to use the Gillette super thin again. Um, because I, I, I think I've. Um, there she is. I think I forgot to mention. I was quite impressed how smooth it was. And I wanted to try it in, in a modern razor because I used it in the. Um, the Ball and Tech, the 1946-1950 Ball and Tech, and there was something, it comes double wrap by the way, and there was something I noticed, not opening it, something I noticed when I was drying the blade out, I was putting it back in the wrapper, and I'll show you now, let's load, no, no I'll show you in a minute, let's load this up, do, do, do. there she is, Gillette Super Thin, you can see that guys, just load that up. You can hear the blade seating properly. Now there's only very tiny little overhang on this razor. Still enough to be there, to be aware of. And like I was saying, what I noticed on the wrapper, and I don't understand this, Maybe somebody can explain. Just like an instruction or a diagram on the inside. That's a cartridge razor, guys. 
That is a cartridge razor. So what's going on? It's a double-edged flame. I don't know. Maybe one of you guys can let me know. I haven't looked into it, but there you go. Enough waffling. Right, I'm gonna... No, I'm not. I'm not gonna wet the face. I'm gonna shake the brush and I'm gonna lather up. Tired, guys. Time of the year. Three flicks of the brush. Make sure it is only three flicks. Now let's get on after it. So how are you guys? I hope you're all okay. And I hope you, your week's been going great. I'm gonna keep dipping the tips in this because I know Amy's soap's quite thirsty. Yeah, I hope your week's going okay. I hope you've been having some fantastic shaves, guys. And like I say, if you're new to the channel, Welcome to the channel, and I hope you enjoy the shave. Look at that already, guys. Look at that already. I did have a comment as well, today actually, about the last video. I think it was the last video, about the echo in the... Um, not on the comments, it, it was um, a customer on my delivery that has watched the video. So that's a little bit too much echo, but I do understand that because I cleared a lot of furniture out when I was decorating the um, the bathroom and we haven't replaced it because we got messed around and we cancelled the order. Um, oh, look at this, guys. Um, so, yeah, there is a bit of an echo, but I do intend to correct that because I don't like it either, guys. But, hey, it's a bathroom. You know, I'm surrounded by tile walls and everything, so there's not much I can do about it, but I will do my best because I want to make these videos as, as best as possible for you guys to enjoy. This is absolutely beautiful. Let's see if we can get some peaks on there for you. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That is beautiful. It's a great I love that. Ariana and Evans. I love their soaps. Right. I think that is just about done. So I'm gonna wet the face and let's get lathering up. Not long we're out the shower. Not that you really need to know that. Let the water out. Yeah, I hope your week's going okay, guys. Mine's just been busy, that's all. Right. Let's go with this. Just let me adjust a minute. It's a bit high. Look at this, guys. This is beautiful. It didn't take me long to get that lather either. And not long now before the rug comes off, guys. I'm counting the days. I can't wait to shave the whole face. It's been driving me nuts. And I've had a, I have had a few more compliments while I've been on delivery. It, for those of you that don't know, I'm a postman for Royal Mail and I've been for, um, I think it's just over 15, maybe come up to 16 years now. And I've had a couple more compliments about the growth Oh, it suits you. No, it doesn't. I hate it. But it is for a good cause. And it's not just cancer awareness. It's mental health awareness and, and everything else. So, it is a good cause. But I, like I said, if you watched the last video, I don't think I'll be doing it again next year. But I always make a donation. And I do have a percentage of my wages coming out of my um, wages. And it goes directly to cancer research. Just gonna tidy that up a bit, guys, because I'm not getting attached to it at all. But I want to keep the shape. Yeah, special shape, guys. My first giveaway. I didn't know how to do it. Um, we have to show you everything straight away. We have to show you everything at the end. But I think I'll do a little bit as we go and um, I'll show you everything again so I won't go over the shave again itself it'll be the giveaway 
Right guys, here we go. Get a bit of heat in the blade. Edwin Jagger DE89. And it's the Gillette Super Thin for the second juice because I want to try it in a modern razor. Here we go guys with the growth. This must be a slightly more aggressive razor than the uh, ball end set because I can probably feel that blade a bit more. But it's still smooth. Hopefully it'll be an even better shave than the second use. Now I can't see about my glasses so I hope this uh, these sideies side burns are okay. Yeah, I don't like it guys. I really don't. So if you guys are doing Movember, like I said before, how's it going? I know some of you commented last time on the last video that you could only go to his house and you're not doing it. Entirely your choice. This is a really nice blade. I don't know if you guys have tried the uh, super things. I've not tried them before. I don't know, I don't know if it's the word super thin because I think you might get a lot of blade chatter off it which can lead to cuts. I think that might have put me off of it being labelled super thin. I was probably a bit more worried about the, uh, the chatter off the blade. But no, I'm quite impressed actually. My eyes are getting worse. I say it every time, but they are getting worse. I'm just a bit worried going for a, trying to go for a night test with this COVID. Because up to now, I've been lucky. Well, I found out yesterday on delivery that it's, it's claimed two more people on my delivery. It's such a shame because they're such nice people. And in a way, I hope you don't mind me saying, this COVID reminds me a little bit like cancer because nobody asked for it. Nobody asked to get it. Nobody asked for it to be here, but people are suffering from it. And it's such a shame. I'm just going to pop my glasses on. Because I'm blind, I just want to just check those lines. There's quite a few days growth there because obviously being so busy, now I'm stained. <laughs> no, I'm in the glasses, I'm not stained. I don't drink when I'm in work the next day. Right, I'm going to rinse off and I'm going to sh show you the first item. Just tidy it up a bit. Oh, slickness. Look, this is nice. It's quite um, it's quite a fresh scent. I meant to mention, um, not like an autumn or anything. It is quite fresh. It's a beautiful scent. Right, first item. What do I show you? I'm going to show you the brush. 
the first item of the giveaway, here she is, it's a Yaki brush, and what I've tried to do as well, I'm sorry if this goes on a bit, but I want to explain anything, I tried to cater for somebody possibly coming into this way of shaving, is thinking about it and everything, or is just coming to the shaver, but I've tried to think about the experienced shaver as well, so these are my choices, the brush of choice, is the, I hope you sterilise these, I haven't sterilised anything and obviously I've touched it, sterilise everything before you use it, if you can. Um, it's the Yaki Lucky Dice, it's a beautiful brush and I love it. I thought with it being a draw, um, you got to be lucky to win it. So I, I thought that the dice was quite fitting, so that's it, it's a 24mm tuxedo knot guys, brand new. And uh, that's the brush. So that's number one. <laughs> right, here we go. Now we've got that shape back. Yeah, it works like Christmas every day, guys. It's this, in, in my experience, for 15, nearly 16 years, this is the busiest year it's ever been for parcels. And we've got Black Friday coming up as well. But normally I would say this time of year, beautiful feel on the skin, this so sorry, I, I keep changing the subject. You get used to that. Here we go guys, second pass across the grove. Normally this time of year, getting back to what I was saying, we start getting the Christmas cards through. I haven't seen one. Up to now. So, whether people are frightened or worried about going to the post office and everything and the shops to get the stamps, there's going to be a shortage and it'll all be like, like emails and FaceTime, Snapchat or, or whatever. I don't know, but it is a shame because po uh, postcards, Christmas cards, they're a tradition, aren't they? I don't know if you guys remember your parents or anything like the Christmas time. You used to put um, oh, what was that? cotton. You used to put a cotton, a string of cotton against your wall with with two pins in, and you used to hang the the cards on them. I still do it. It's great, it's part of the decoration. Although... Since my mother's passing, I, I mean, I don't want to put a negative thing on the... feel on the video and the shave and everything, it's not, it's, it's positive, it's, it, it's happy thoughts and everything like that. Christmas just isn't the same for me anymore because my mother died on the 23rd of December. Um, well, it's five years ago now. It kind of ruined Christmas for me for quite a long time, but I'm, I'm getting there. Now I've got grandkids and everything. I'm making more of an effort. I, I, I try to make an effort for the wife because she loves Christmas as well. It's just hard. Because my mother was Christmas. All the family around. The parties. It was great. It's a great time. And I miss that. So Christmas just isn't the same for me. And I think it's um, my opinions changed and everything. I, obviously, as I've got older and I've got no kids around the house or anything like they're all grown up and got their own families and everything. It's me and the wife, you know what I mean? It's, it, I don't know. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a humbug. I still enjoy Christmas, it's just, it just isn't the same. That's nice. Nice second pass, that guys. I love Ariana and Evans. Great soaps. Right, second item. It's all exciting. No, two items. 
I'll be honest with you, these two items I've thrown in. First one, sterling soaps, great artisan, pumpkin spice. Now I bought this because I like the sound of it and I thought I would like it and I've never used it and as you can see it's brand new, never been used. Colour doesn't put me off, it, it wasn't that. I got it and I smelt it and it's just not for me, the scent is just not for me. Brand new, not been used so I'm throwing that into the giveaway. Second item, sorry third. I bought this by mistake because I was ordering some samples of sterling soaps, British artisan, fantastic artisans, and it's the barber shop. I already had the big tub, I bought it by mistake, so that's going in as well, guys. So there you go. I'll get to the main ones in a minute. Right. Let's get lathering up again. Sorry if this goes on, guys. It's late. The electric's been turned off all day and it's not long gone on so I didn't have the light and everything else. I didn't have the power to download and upload the video and everything so it is very late. I think it must be as I film this now. Um, I'm filming this on Wednesday and it'll be going up on Thursday as you're watching it. It must be about 8 o'clock p.m. Six, uh, Twenty, twenty hundred. I was sorry. I had to think. Then, if you if you think that way, hey, shut up, Chris. Get on. I'm excited. It's my first giveaway. Right, third pass, guys, against the growth. Here we go. Edwin Jagger, DE eighty nine. Great razor. Great little razor. I can't wait to shave the full face, but uh, guys, cannot wait. So, what are you guys shaving with today? Shave of the day. And thanks, guys, for your last comments on the last video. Very supportive as always. I want to say hi to Jenny and Ruth again. Oh, you guys are okay. And I hope you're all keeping safe. As always. Yeah, the brush I chose. I like the brush. I've got mine here. And it's a great brush. It really is a good performing brush. It looks great, it performs great. And I, I, th I thought about the, um, not just the uh, experienced shavers, but the new ones, thinking of this way or just coming into this way of shaving. It's a great performing brush. It's easy to maintain, it's easy to clean, it dries quick. Yeah, it's, it's good all round if you like, in maintenance. This feels great guys. There's not a lot there. Here we go again, sing it again. You can't sing Chris. Just using a little bit of slickness. As we go along. I don't want to sort of like slip and take a piece out. I shouldn't slip, but I'm trying to keep it as close as to the shape as possible as I started. Yeah, 
can't wait, it's coming off soon. The days can't come quick enough. Right, what have we gone through? I'll tell you what, we'll go for the aftershave. I'll tell you a bit about the aftershave. Not a bit about it, a bit. I've had an idea. The aftershave and the giveaway is Floyd Black. There she is, guys. Floyd Black. I'll just show you. There she is. Brand new. Now, I thought about um, if anybody who enters for the uh, giveaway. If you're in the States or anywhere like that and shipping's a problem, what I will do is, whoever wins, I will put my email address in the um, description. Contact me, let me know if it's gonna be a problem or if you're in the States or anything like that. And what I will do is, you can choose with the equivalent, the cost of the Floyd, what aftershave you want. And what I will do, I will order it where you want it ordering from over in the states or whatever and I will get it shipped to your address so that's why I need your address as well and I'll ship the rest over so I've thought about that so you don't lose out and um, I have thought of if I can't ship this over to anybody who, who, who wins it because of the shipping regulations I will do a runner up or a second place and they will get the aftershave so hopefully we'll see how that works Right, here we go, pick up time, guys. Lap it up for the pick up time. Stop singing, Chris. I'm very tired, very excited. Best of both worlds. Right, here we go, guys. Pick up time. And what will happen on the um, on the uh, entry, if you like, you must. Well, you don't. It must be on this video. Um, all you have to do, guys. You can leave a comment. It's not a problem. Don't worry about it. But if you just want to report, it's entirely up to you, I'm in. That will get you into the draw. But if you want to leave a comment, at the end of your comment, put I'm in. And you'll all be in the draw. And Mrs B's going to help me with that because I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. She has. So she will be doing the accumulator. Is it an accumulator? I don't know. On the computer anyway. Should we do the draw on the computer? So you guys don't win, you can blame Mrs. B. <laughs> don't win the day with me. Yeah, so that's what'll happen. Your comments or your I'm in has gotta be on this video. And I'm keeping it open for five days. So it'll be open till Monday. Tuesday we'll do the draw. The draw will be up on Tuesday. No, it won't. Yes, it will. The draw will be up on Tuesday. And then I'll see you guys either Wednesday or Thursday for the next shave. So it's open for five days. From today, Thursday. It'll be open till Monday. And you must put I'm in. Either at the end of your comment, if you leave one, or you don't have to leave a comment, just put I'm in. But you have to be a subscriber to be in the draw. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You'll be in the draw. Right, cold water rinse, guys. I just run right down shit. Whoa, that's cold. Oh, I haven't done that before.
I'm leaving the face dry, but I am using the Allen block and I'm just going to damp the Allen block. I'm just going to wet the Allen block. That's nice. No feedback whatsoever. A bit more water on the Allen. It feels so weird not doing it all over the face. I'm sorry if this video goes on a little bit, guys, but I wanted to make sure everything's clear about the giveaway. And I'll do a little bit more of it now. Like I say, I'm not going to go over the uh, the shave again. If you want to know what views, you can always watch it again, guys. Would you really want it? <laughs> yeah, I would. I do it all the time. That's nice. Squeaky clean. So smooth. So smooth, guys. Right, we have to shave today. It's going to be, I thought I'd add a bit more musk with the soap. And it's Pinard Clubman Musk. Love the scent of this stuff. I haven't decanted anything yet. I know I haven't at the time, but I'm off next week. I've got a week off, which I'm decorating the bedroom because it's going to be the new shave then. Oh yes, this is so. This goes really well with that because it would be quite a fresh scent. The moss. That's really nice, that really goes well. I didn't even think, I didn't even try and marry it up or anything, but that really goes well. Right. The main soap for the giveaway. I chose this, not just because it's a great performer, but it's the most realistic scent to me, of, excuse me, my childhood memories of what a barbershop smelled like. Indigestion and it's wool. No, it's not. It's moon soaps. I've got to say, wool soaps. It's moon soaps union barbershop scent, and um, it's the most realistic scent to me that from memory as, as a child going to the barbers, me, me dad, and everything like that. This is a great barbershop scent, but I think Peter and his team. They tried to um, put their own twist on it with the leather and everything, and it really is a nice barbershop scent. It's it's different and it's a complicated soap with, with the notes and everything, but it's a fantastic soap. I would recommend that. I would also recommend this. It's a great soap. So that's in the giveaway as well. Balm. Hey, we're doing well here, guys. Hang on, I can't, I can't read the label. Sorry. Right, what we're doing today, I've never used this before. It's uh, it's new to me. It's Nivea Men Skin Energy Aftershave Balm. And it revitalizes tired skin. What about tired eyes, tired body, tired brain? I don't know, I've not used it before. And it's 100% naturally sourced caffeine. So let's see how it goes. I've not used it before. Quite a pleasant, very slight scent in it. Let's see how it goes. Oh, go with that. Feels nice in the, in the hand. Oh, that's pleasant. That really is pleasant. Yeah, goes well with that. Goes well with the moss. It's not a musky scent, but it goes really well. Much Nivea never lets anybody down. Never lets me down. Goes well with everything. That's a nice shave, guys. Lug holes. Don't forget your lug holes in this weather. That is a great shave, guys. That's really nice. I really enjoyed that. It was a really comfortable shave. Really comfortable. Right. 
final product and then we'll just have a recap of the products. I won't go through the shave again. Don't want to bore you. Where's my glasses? <laughs> I can't see to get my glasses. Got water on them again. Right. Razor that I've gone for is Edwin Jagger. This is a DE89, the same as what I've just used. And I've gone for it for the, you can use it as an experienced shaver because it's a fantastic razor. Um, for anybody who's new to thinking or new to it, and you're wondering about the next step or even the experience and you haven't got one but wanted one, I've tried to cater for everybody and it really is difficult guys. Now don't forget guys, whoever wins all this, sterilise it before you use it. I know you probably do sterilise your stuff but nicely wrapped. There she is guys, oh, it's all steamed. There she is guys, Edwin Jagger D89. Nice engraved there, is it engraved or etched? It's engraved. There you go, Edwin Jagger D89 in all its wrapping and glory in the box, brand new, there you go, thank you very much, happy days. So I won't go over the shave, so we'll have a recap, Edwin Jagger D89, that's the razor, brush, it's the Yaki Lucky Dice, there she is, she's a beautiful brush, stop flashing, beautiful brush guys. This light's doing my headache because the batteries are going to go. I can't find the other batteries. <laughs> I hope you can see me okay. Right, after shave, Floyd. Floyd Black, beautiful masculine scent. If you've not tried it before, I won't get it out. Of it. There you go. Soaps I'm throwing in. Sterling, great artisan, pumpkin, pumpkin spice. Just wasn't for me, just by the smell. So. I hope it's okay for you guys. I'm throwing that in because I, <laughs> I ordered it by mistake. So that's in as well. And the soap, the soap is Moon Soaps Union. Barbershop scent, fantastic soap. And like I say guys, if you're in the States and there's a shipping problem with the, uh, the aftershave because I think there is alcohol in it, I will order something in your country, state or whatever and have it shipped to your address. And on the draw, whoever's the winner, I will put a my email address. I think it's on my on my main page as well on my site page, but I'll put it in anyway. Email me your, me your, your address and let me know what the score is, what you want to do with the aftershave. So there you go, fantastic shave. Thank you to all you new subscribers and all of you guys. You've made it what it is um, today, and um, good luck on the draw. And enter. Don't forget, I'm in, I'm in. At the end of your comments, or you don't even have to leave a comment, give me a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and enter the draw. All you have to do is put I'm in if you don't want to leave a comment. That's all you have to do. Thank you so much, guys. I'm really excited about this. It's me, it's me first one, and overwhelmed. Overwhelmed at all you kind people out there for joining me every shave. And um, yeah, loving every minute of it. Let's hope it continues to grow. So thank you so much and good luck guys. Don't forget, it ends on Monday. We'll do the draw on Tuesday and I'll see you. I'll see you then, but if you don't, when you miss the draw, I'll see you on the next shave, which will either be Wednesday or Thursday. Next week. But I'll see you at the weekend for the next shave. I forgot to mention I was having a shave at the weekend. I'm tired and excited. Bear with me. Thanks guys again. Good luck on the draw. And... Au revoir. Au revoirci. Buon hasta vista. Okay. See you guys. Have a great rest of the week and stay safe. Thank you so much. Bye now.